do you feel knowing that you're just used? That you're just being used and abused? How do you feel? You know, I read these articles about business. I read what the guys are doing in the background. And I really feel used. I feel like a wet towel after you get out the pool. You 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 use me, rub off all the water, and throw me to the side. You don't even take the time out to spread me out so I could dry. I'm I'm really grossed out and sad at the way all of this WWE mergers and all this stuff is taking place. It's really sad and it really says a lot about Oh, we family and WWE together forever. These folks don't give a fuck about none of us. But I still want to enjoy pro wrestling. Something inside of me says, just enjoy it. Don't think about what's happening in the background. But then when the shit translates to the screen, when there's lackluster writing, no one puts any effort into anything anymore. They make you feel like a fucking idiot for simply sitting there watching it. I do feel like the way Andrade felt when Carmelo Anthony came up to him after he lost the match with uh, L.A. Knight. Put the fries in the bag, bro. You washed. I feel washed. I do kind of feel like an idiot. I'm reading this article. And the way they talk about how Netflix and WWE merging is somehow good for us. It's not good for us. If you look at what's happening in the pro sports across the board, NFL, uh, the, the NBA, all the sports. I'm listening to sports fans upset because they can't get access to their fucking sports. My homegirl, me, we talk about all the time. She always gets into very emotional about her sports, like most people, and that's fine. But she can't get access to a sport. Or when she's trying to access it, she has to, like, figure out ways to avoid paying 90 bucks for a fucking streaming channel. Because motherfuckers want to bundle ESPN with everything. There's no reason why YouTube TV is almost 90 bucks, plus tax and all this other bullshit. No reason. There's no reason why I have to pay so much to stream. Even because my fucking internet is exorbitant. Okay? I pay I pay almost $85 for internet. Because I'm no longer new. It's $49.99 when you're new, but after two years, pow, right to the moon. Everything is on the internet. So you can't avoid it. You can't avoid it. Now, here we are, SmackDown going to three hours. I should be excited. That's more wrestling for me to watch. But I'm not. Because I've been watching the shows. I've been actually very cognizantly watching the shows. And finding some type of joy in SmackDown when I see Bianca Belair. I love Bianca. When I see Montez get some type of fucking shine. Because then people don't see his potential for some weird reason. When the Tribal Chief finally gets his comeuppance. After years of getting kicked in his ass. That's where I find joy. Outside of that, the product sucks. And you know how long it took me to get to that point? To realize wrestling, pro wrestling, is not fucking good. I'm pushing through because this is a genre that I like. Then you got AEW come on. They come on the scene. Oh, we're different. We're diverse. We're going to give you something you've never seen before. And AEW is abysmal. I can't even get through an hour of AEW television, guys. I'm so serious. And majority of you can't either. Not invested in nothing. Don't know what the fuck is going on. Everything happens in a damn microwave. It's like, oh my goodness. This shit sucks. And you know what? For the people that's like, wrestling's booming, wrestling's this, no it's not. When folks find out that I like wrestling, they give me this look as if I'm retarded. And I hate using that word, but that's the only way I could describe it. I had on, I think I told y'all this story before, if I'm not, I'm going to tell you. I wore my Bianca Belair shirt to work. 
Only one kid knew who it was. He's like 12. He was like, ooh, that's Bank of Bel Air. I was like, no, it's Bianca. Whatever. But my coworkers was like looking at my shirt. And they was like, well, what's going on with it? So it's the one with the cartoon she holding her rope, her rope hair. And I was like, oh, this is Bianca Bel Air. And that's her hair. That's her signature. And sometimes she hits people with it like a whip. They looked at me like, oh, bless her heart. If you don't know, in the African-American community, someone says, bless your heart, is literally an equivalent of saying, oh, she's slow. Her brain is smooth. That's the shit she into? And then they just start laughing. I'm standing there smiling like, it's fun. They're like, okay, that's fine. Everybody, don't nobody watch wrestling, y'all. Very small population. Probably, I'm going to be generous. It's about 5 million of us. If anything, and that's generous that you got these wrestling companies are trying to get us to watch. SmackDown going to three hours is not good. No, it's not. Raw going to two hours, giving us a break for these couple of months is going to be fantastic. And I'm going to notice something. Raw two hours is going to give me a, a, a sense of relief that I don't have to sit there and go through non-stop ads, picture in the picture, because these motherfuckers got to sell me shit. Even though advertisers don't like us because we broke-ass motherfuckers. That's what they said. And I told you what, they, what they're what advertising. Burgers, fries, medication, and like uh, blue chew and gambling. For us ladies, we get the diapers, and uh, probably some shit about therapy. That's like on top of the burgers, fries, and you know some other bullshit that don't nobody want. But shows like The Big Bang Theory, you gonna see a Cadillac commercial. You gonna see uh, invest in some stocks. You know what I mean? They don't advertise gambling to The Big Bang Theory audience. They don't advertise gambling to Law & Order SVU's audience. Pay attention to what's being advertised to you when you watch your shows. So I'm reading this article back to why I'm not excited about three hours of anything. I'm reading this article and it just made me feel like a pawn in a, grown, in a game for rich people. And it sucks. It sucks to know that you're just being used as a vehicle to get sports off of broadcast TV. That's what sucks. It sucks to know that these people don't have to put out quality product, WWE, AEW, and the like, because at the end of the day, they just use this as a place to make money. And we're just there as an asterisk, I guess. Oh, we making money. It's cool that you're here. You could join, too, and watch me make money, but I don't really give a fuck about none of y'all. For one, quote in this article, fans of WWE are accustomed to consuming its programs on linear TV. This means they're already used to watching commercials in exchange for access to the show, suggesting that they'll slot happily into Netflix Ad supported tier, which I'm already there. Though, with a storehouse of content to stream on demand at any time, it's likely that a large portion of fans will also be incentivized to pay for a Netflix subscription, driving additional revenue for the streamer. The deal also opens doors to auxiliary revenue streams. I, I mean, that's all this is about. Sports heads, people that like sports, listen to this shit. This is what you have to expect. So y'all better be paying attention to this Netflix deal. This is going to affect just watching regular sports. And like I said, my homegirl's already feeling the effects, and it's frustrating the fuck out of her. Because she just wants to watch football like she used to. Live sports and entertainment organizations, the tides are already shifting away from traditional linear TV. Prime Video's exclusive rights to NFL Thursday Night Football programming have ranked 
in viewers and ad dollars. Comcast claims that Peacock's recent exclusive stream of Kansas City Chief Miami Dolphin wildcard playoff game on January 13th, which drew 23 million viewers, was the most streamed live event in U.S. history. Meanwhile, Major League Soccer has teamed up with Apple TV to bring fans on-demand coverage of the sport. And while WWE Raw is not traditional sports content, but scripted athletic content, it aligns closely with this trend. Now, this is the part where they say, fuck you, pay me. These strategies characterized by offering initial free content to attract subscribers and then upselling premium subscriptions are proving effective in broadening the viewer base and revenue potential. I said all that to say this. SmackDown, after this last contract, will no longer be on USA. For however long this is, they're going to run their contract out, and it's not going to be on USA. USA. Eventually, all WWE products will be on Netflix. And the only way for you to access it is you will have to literally get the live TV level of Netflix. I went to Hulu, and then I'm going to wrap this up. I went to Hulu... And I, I you used to could watch a shorter version of Raw and SmackDown on Hulu. SmackDown is no longer available on Hulu. If you want to see SmackDown, you got to pay Hulu Live subscription, which is $85. All of that's about to go out the door. What I'm going to do is pirate this bullshit because I'm not paying to see no no underperforming, lackluster written bullshit. I'm not doing it. If it was good, if it had me on the edge of my seat, if I was feeling something, if I was just like, yeah, 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 I would do it. But it's not. And this is how I know WWE don't give a fuck. This is why they're moving away from this shit. Because at the end of the day, they're not being beholden to these broadcasters. Like, y'all got to give us some good shit. You said the stuff was good, was going to get people, but the stuff ain't good and we're losing people. Now on Netflix, there is nobody to speak up on about no ratings and stuff because it's on Netflix. It's a built-in audience. Either you watch or you don't. They already got their five billion. Meanwhile, I'm sitting there fucking sweating and passing out trying to stay up to see three hours of bullshit. SmackDown don't need to be three hours. It needs to stay at two. And if you ask me, Raw needs to be two hours. No, I'm not excited about it. I'm not happy. If you got this far, tell me what you think in the comments.